Hello everyone, welcome to this video about Blender. Blender, not like a blender to make smoothies, but a blender to make models, 3D models for 3D printing, with the resin printers mostly. Blender is a full tool, suite, tool set to make uh, Visual effects, visual uh, animations, uh, lighting, texturing, uh, all crazy tools that are in there, but we're never going to use them. We're just going to use them to make mostly cylinders and cubes and spheres and uh, move them around because that's pretty much uh, all there is to uh, modeling uh, humanoid, humanoid or even dragons is like cylinders, long cylinders, short cylinders, uh, thick cylinders. So my finger is a cylinder, my head is a cylinder, my eyes are spheres, my teeth may be rectangles, but uh, anyways, it's really, uh, maybe you have toruses sometimes. A torus is like a donut shape uh, if you want to make, uh, I don't know, it could be useful to use toruses sometimes, but mostly cylinders and rectangles. So Blender is a free open source application. Uh, you can grab it uh, on blender.org for free. Install it to your desktop uh, computer, Mac, Windows, Linux. Uh, it's pretty straightforward to install. Just uh, download it, double click it, install it. But I'm sure you can do it. You can't install it to your telephone, mobile phone, iPhone, uh, Android. It needs to be on a desktop computer with a mouse, ideally with a uh, three button mouse or no, two buttons with a little rolly thing in the center. Uh, you can use a trackpad but it's not ideal. Uh, so yeah, you need to install it, pause this video, install it and come right back and we'll get going. Alright, so once you have Blender installed and started, this is what you're going to see. This is the splash screen. I'm working with 2.90.1. This is uh, maybe not the latest. I think there was a new release a few weeks ago. Once you're here, you can just click on the splash to get rid of it. This is the default load screen. You're going to want to understand how to navigate within Blender. If you have a scroll wheel on your mouse, once you wheel the scroll wheel, turn the scroll wheel, you're gonna zoom in and out. This is useful, zooming in and out. You, you can select the cube by clicking on it, left clicking on it. If you can't select the cube, this is a little thing about Blender. Sometimes the selection is on the right, <laughs> the right button of the mouse. So you need to go to preferences. This is really annoying at first. You go to preferences, interface, and a few minutes later, key map. So key map, left, select with mouse button, left. Now you've learned how to zoom in and out. When you press <clears throat> Mac, when you press the uh, command key and left click, you're going to be able to turn. For Windows, I guess it's control key. When you want to pan, you press shift, command or shift control for Windows and you can pan the object. So you can turn around, zoom in and out and pan. These are really useful. Now, as we've seen before, if you have a numpad on your keyboard, some keyboards have on the right part have a numerical pad with uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 0. These will switch your view. So if you press 1, you're going to go straight forward in the axis. This, as you see here on the uh, upper right corner of the, the view here, you have your X. X is left to right. Y is front to back, this is Y, and Z is the depth or uh, front to, uh, yeah, the height of an object. So one on the numerical pad, will put it forward, three sideways, seven 
top view. So these are essential to know, one, three, and seven. If you don't have a numerical pad on your keyboard, you can go to input. A few moments later. Emulate numpad. So when you emulate numpad, the numbers at the top of your keyboard in a horizontal row will do like the num numpad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, so one, three, and seven. The view is composed mainly of, well, this we're in a modeling mode, as you've seen at the top here. You have modeling mode, sculpting mode, UV editing, texture paint, shading, animation, rendering, compositing. This, we're never going to use this. Just modeling. Just going to focus on modeling for now. Well, I'm never going to use anything else. Maybe rendering sometimes, but that's not for 3D modeling, 3D printing. So. <clears throat> this is a cube. So you should have something that looks pretty, whoops, that looks like this. You have a light and you have a camera. As you see here in the scene collection, this is like your layer list or group of objects. Um, you can create new collections. You can select objects from there. So you can select the camera. You're never going to use the camera in this video series. And press X. X is your first shortcut you're going to learn today. It's first keyboard shortcut. X, delete an object. Boom, it's gone. Select the light. X, delete, it's gone. So X, you have to memorize that. X. Cube, you want to grab it with G, letter G, grab it and move it around. Grab your second keyboard shortcut for today. Grab. You can scale it with S, scale the cube. You can rotate the cube with R. I just gave you three more keyboard shortcuts that you need to know by heart now. R, S, G, and X to delete it. Also, like most programs, you can undo. Command Z, Control Z. Each action you do in Blender is one action, is one undo. So if you move something around, rotate it, scale it, action, 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 action. And you're limited by default to, I think it's 20 actions that you can undo. So if you've been doing stuff for a while and you change your mind and you want to undo, well, you're, you, you, you can have problems. So you can change the undo maximum here in preferences. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's system undo steps. You see, I set mine to 64. Not sure why I put 64. Maybe it's the maximum. Yeah, I, I don't know. You can go much further. I put it up to 64. So preferences, system, 64. Now that we're in preference, you can save your preferences. That's useful because uh, sometimes you're going to... Uh, Maybe install a new version of Blender and you're, it's going to overwrite your preferences. So you want to save your preferences. But right now, just going to save your preferences to uh, remember your keyboard uh, and your emulated numpad, stuff like that. Now, we've seen how to grab and move, scale and rotate in front view. This is from the Y view. So you're in the Y up here. Hopefully you've learned something today. And after we're going to go into edit mode where you're going to be able to manipulate the objects in your, uh, in your view to distort them. If you're interested, uh, subscribe, 
So thank you. Have a good day. Bye bye.